Hello everybody, welcome to what will be the last part of my Final Fantasy VII playthrough. I know I said that the last time that I, uh, I uh, did this, but uh, this time I actually mean it, okay? Um, <laughs> the last time I thought I would be able to finish getting all of the achievements in the game, that obviously didn't turn out to be the case, because I heavily underestimated just how much I needed to grind in order to make enough money to max out the money in the game so I could finally earn the last achievement. But we're going to do that today, no matter how long it takes, okay? That's why I'm streaming so early in the afternoon rather than at night. That way, you know, no matter how long it takes, I will be able to get this done by today. So, um... Just in case anybody didn't watch the YouTube update video that I put out um, last week, I think. Um, the reason that my setup is different today is uh, because um, I was uh, over a, a weekend prior to Christmas. I took a trip to New York to spend some time with my family, but also uh, attend a, a friend of mine's birthday party. Well, you know, we went out to eat. And, uh, while I was in New York, uh, my laptop screen got cracked, so now I have to use my TV as a monitor in order for me to do things, such as street. So, if you're wondering why things are different from how they usually are when I'm streaming, then yeah, that's the explanation for why. And, uh... I've had to do a lot of uh, messing around with the audio levels in order to make sure that everything's working properly. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay, I'm not entirely sure about that. But uh, yeah, Ho hopefully the game audio and everything else is okay. Hopefully this doesn't really affect the quality or watchability of my stream. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way, let's uh, let's finish this game. Mastered all material. Alright, so then that means Cloud does in fact have all of the all material that needs to be mastered. Excuse me. I do realize that I made a mistake here and put. <laughs> yeah, th this is supposed to help. I'm thinking that. Alright. So then, I need to change her weapon then. Yeah, let's change it to that. Oh, that's not correct. Right, there we go. Now that's proper. calculated how much I would need in order to how much of how many all material I need to have mastered in order to actually um have an in order to, in order to sell enough to have enough money to max out my money I calculated I would need 60 all materia in order to do so. But, oh, okay. 
Actually, I think I'm going to duplicate elixirs here. Since I am running low, I'm gonna still need many more of them yet. While I'm doing this. So yeah, I'm gonna need 60 all mastered mastered all material. What? Okay, focus. Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna... I will still need to duplicate more elixirs, but uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'll need to... I need to master 60 all materia in order to be able to sell enough mastered all materia to max out my money. But it probably won't need to actually be that much since I'm going to be making money from battles in addition to, um... Nice. Like, I'll be making extra money in addition to what I'm going to be getting from selling mastered all materia. So it probably won't need to be 60 exactly, just a number close to it. But regardless, I am going to, uh... Hmm. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to count to 60 when... When doing this. slots I have exactly, but, uh, nice. So yeah, like I was saying, I don't know exactly how many, uh, material slots I have. But, uh, when my master, like, <laughs> oh, I'm actually approaching my limits. That's not good. That means I'm gonna have to stop way sooner than I was planning to. And I, okay. Well, how many um, materia do I actually need in order to do this? Just one, really. Alright. Wait, I should actually count both. Alright, let me see. Okay, so I got 26. If I count it correctly, and I have seven more slots. So, by the end of this, I will be able to sell a little more than half of the amount of all materia that I need.
Wait a second. And, and, and thanks for the good luck and, and, and everything. Thank you. 
whoops. Oh yeah, I got a lot more room for material now, so I won't have to come out early. probably go save now with this setup since uh, it works a lot more in my favor than what I had before. Uh, I'll be back. Just give me a second. Right, uh, very sorry about that, um... My dad just came home and I needed to help out with the groceries. Alright, I was gonna save. <laughs> uh, and of course that, that, that would happen. screwed up with one of the material here. Yeah, I I'm not supposed to... I mean, I have a master command on, so it doesn't matter. But... <laughs> yeah, let let let's use this. That that would be really helpful. <laughs> No, okay. And all material just leveled up, not... Grinding is all I'm going to be doing today. There's going to be absolutely nothing to talk about gameplay-wise, so... Um... I might as well talk about, uh, my trip to New York. You know, actually mention what happened while I was there, you know, besides my laptop screen cracking. So we went there for, um, a friend of mine's birthday, a mutual friend of me and my cousin. 
uh, I've known him for a couple of years, and I rarely get to see him, not only because, um, excuse me, uh, he lives in New York and I live in Pennsylvania, but also because, uh, even my cousin himself rarely ever gets to see him, so... Certainly, it's not easy to get in contact with him. So I decided, since this is a rare opportunity, I might as well take my chance to, you know, go and see him. Especially since it's for his birthday and whatnot. So we went to this Korean restaurant, and, uh... It was one of those restaurants where, uh... It wasn't a hibachi restaurant. Like, they, they cook the food in front of you. It, it, instead, what it was is uh, you order the food, and, and your your table is like a, a place to eat and uh, a barbecue at the same time. So, so you make it yourself. But it wasn't entirely like that. Like the only thing we we actually needed to cook was uh, an order of duck that we had, and that was pretty much it. Everything else was presented to us, you know, already cooked, and because I couldn't order what I actually wanted, which was a salmon meal, um, what I instead ordered was uh, a chicken and shrimp meal that was spicy, and let me tell you, it, it may not have been a big deal for them, but for me it was the spiciest thing I'd ever eaten. It was extremely painful for me. Well, not physically painful, but, like, my mouth was on fire when I was eating that. So, normally I eat fast, but I had to take it slow with that meal because it was so spicy that it was too hard for me to eat as fast as I normally would want to. <sighs> so, uh, but other than that, the meal was good. Like, the, the food was good. I have no complaints with it whatsoever. I, I just wish that I could have had the salmon meal that I, that I wanted instead, but, you know, what I had was fine. So, yeah, we, we had a good time. A after, after we ate, we went to a, a, a barcade, which was my first time ever going to a barcade. We had, a, we had a good time there. Oh, now I can open the menu? It's fine. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we went to a barcade. Uh, we, I played some, some of the games that they had there. They had X-Men, they had Street Fighter Alpha 2, they had so many games there, I, I can't even name them all. Also had a couple of pinball machines. I played a couple of games. I, I played X Men. It's the, the X Men game that Konami made, the the, the beat 'em up, not uh, you know, Marvel versus Capcom or X Men versus Street Fighter, any of those. It was the Konami Cap uh, Konami X Men game. Uh, and of course, you know, because those games are ridiculously hard, we we didn't get far, but. Uh, I certainly played more of it than, uh, I expected to, um, I'm pretty sure that, you know, with enough quarters, I could, uh, realistically get through the game, but, uh, <laughs> I'm certainly a very passive person when it comes to events like these, like, I'm much more of an observer than, uh, someone who engages. So I, I mostly spent my time just uh, watching people play rather than actually playing myself, but I, I did enjoy my time there. I was mostly just tired because uh, we had to do a lot of walking around in Times Square in order to get to the places that we visited. And so my legs and feet were tired, I just wanted to relax, but there were no uh, open seats at any of the tables anywhere, so I just, I pretty much just had to uh, stand and, and, 
and watch people. But other than that, it was a good time. I, I certainly... Other than my laptop screen cracking, I don't regret going there. I had a good time, I enjoyed myself, and I was glad to be able to be there for my friend, because I really get to see him and I enjoy his company. And uh, I also enjoy spending time with my cousin as well, so yeah. I know I'm wasting time by, by doing this, but uh... Say it too much because you know that that's overdoing it. But <clears throat> ah. I hope everybody had a merry Christmas. Oh, speaking of which. Uh, that's actually something I can talk about. Um, when I was in New York, um, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh, after my laptop screen got cracked, you know, uh, my family was very supportive of me. They uh, 
They let me have one of their old laptops that they don't use anymore as a replacement because they didn't know at the time whether or not if I could do anything about, you know, my laptop screen getting cracked. They immediately looked into, excuse me, the price of how much it would cost to get it fixed. And, uh, certainly with, uh, well, I think they would be able to do it, but, um, seeing as how, uh, basically, I would need to, I can't exactly bring my TV with me, because I'm, I'm planning to, to go back and stay with them for a longer period of time in February, and, uh, I, I can't afford to, well, not necessarily I can't afford, it's not physically possible for me to, Okay, I can't bring my TV with me when I go to stay over there because there's no place for me to put it. So I would need to get my laptop screen fixed before I, I go over there, even though I'm pretty sure they would be willing to, you know, get it fixed um, themselves. But uh, yeah, after, you know, everything happened and, and they found out that my laptop screen cracked, uh, they tried to cheer me up by giving me my Christmas presents early. And certainly it did cheer me up because even though, you know, despite what happened, I got uh, an Xbox One S for Christmas and a couple of games. And Uh, they, uh, I incorrectly stated uh, in another. <laughs> I incorrectly stated in the Black Tastics uh, chat that uh, it came with a year of Xbox Live Gold, but that, that's actually not true. It came with a month of Xbox Live Gold and uh, EA Access or whatever that's called. But uh, my. But part of my gift for Christmas was uh, a year's worth of Xbox Live Gold. So I mistook um, that part of the gift for coming with the Xbox One S. But yeah, that, 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 I was actually really happy to, to get an Xbox One S because even though the Xbox One X is, is better, I really don't care that much about, you know, 4K gaming or HDR or any of that other stuff. To me, that's just, you know, additional things, additional benefits that aren't really necessary for enjoying uh, the gaming experience on an Xbox One. You know, I, I feel like that whatever you can get from an Xbox One S, those enhancements alone are good enough. I know you might be thinking, oh, Xbox One has no exclusives or whatever, but honestly, I don't really care. You know, my laptop isn't... It's good, but it can't exactly run all the most recently released games, so anything that my laptop can't run, I can just buy it for the Xbox One and, and play it on there instead, so... That's certainly a benefit to, to owning a console. Like, that, that, that's basically what consoles are nowadays. They're basically PCs with good enough specs to run any game you can't. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very happy to finally have an Xbox One, even though Xbox... <laughs> Xbox Series X. Is, is what's going to be coming out next year, and, uh... Wait, what am I doing? Honestly, I... It doesn't really matter to me that the next generation is going to start next year. Like, I'm so late to, to this generation that I'm only now getting an Xbox One. Because, uh, honestly, I, I actually already had an Xbox One before, but it belonged to my brother, but, uh, he, uh, you know, he decided to let me have it, and I actually did have it for a year or two, but 
then for whatever reason he decided that he wanted it back so I had to give it back but now I have an Xbox one of my own so I can read the benefits of owning an Xbox one without needing to have to share it with anybody not that there's anything wrong with that I got a couple of games. Um, the, the Xbox One S came with Jedi Fallen Order. I haven't really heard much about the game, but apparently it's good. Um, I also got the games that my, my cousin bought me along with the Xbox. This, this didn't come with the console, but he also got me the Crash uh, Bandicoot Remastered Trilogy. So, that. <laughs> It's crazy to me to, to think that, uh, you know, those classic Crash games can be played on a console other than a Sony console. But I'm actually really happy about it because now I don't have to worry about owning a PlayStation 4 in order to play those games, so I'm very happy about that. And he also got me Gears 5, which I've never played a Gears... Oh wait, that's actually not true. I, I did play a Gears of War game once, a very long time ago, like over 10 years ago. And, uh, um, I didn't play the, the single player, I only played the multiplayer, and of course, I kept getting my ass kicked because, uh, I'm not good at the game, and, uh, certainly I would like to play the older games in the series first before playing Gears 5, especially since, you know, if I don't play the, the earlier games first, the story's not going to make any sense to me. So definitely I'm going to play those older games first, before I play Gears 5. But, <laughs> but who knows how, how long ago, or, or rather, uh, how long from now it will be before I ever get to the Gears of War series. Speaking of which, actually, um, I think it's possible for me to stream off of the Xbox One, but uh, I would have to look into that because I don't know the particulars of it. Like, excuse me, I thought that when I gave my, my, my brother his, excuse me, I gave my brother his Xbox One back that I also returned the Kinect that he had, but apparently he doesn't have it. Which means that I still have it. So, I don't know if with the Kinect I could stream off of the Xbox One and still have a webcam so you guys could see me while I'm streaming. You know, I, I would have to look into everything regarding to streaming off of an Xbox One. But I'm pretty sure I can do it. Like, I'm pretty sure that the Xbox One has, a, has its own Twitch app that allows you to stream off of it as well as watch other people's streams. sense. I, I, I should have equipped it as soon as I got it.
if anybody uh, watching the stream, uh, you know, just looking or whatever, uh, feel free to let me know if there's anything wrong with the audio levels or, or, or the picture or anything. I can't uh, exactly keep an eye on this while I'm streaming, you know? times after I say that. I think that's only the second time it showed up today so far, actually. Movers are always nice because they give a lot of uh, money when you kill them. Miss? Seriously? Both of them? And of course, after I use Big Guard, uh, it, it hits. Lowering? Okay. Uh, I'll raise my mic audio then. I actually tested the audio levels before I started streaming, and it seems just fine to me from what I listened to, although there could be a, a, a I'm not sure, but there might be a difference from uh, when you're recording versus when you're streaming, and I'm not entirely sure about that, but uh, it is possible that And I used Big Guard before. Yeah, so I check the audio levels. I actually do this, you know, before every stream. I, I do a local record so that way I can know what the audio levels are. Oh, that's not good. But there might be a... <laughs> Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say, even though I'm fumbling over my words. The difference in audio levels might be... Like, the stream might be louder than when you locally record or whatever. I, I don't know. Certainly a smarter person than me can, can explain it better than, than, than how I am right now. before I stream, I, I just use whatever game I'm going to stream as, you know, the test subject, so to speak. So, you know, it's my microphone audio being compared to the whatever game I'm playing audio, you know? But, I, I tend to just, you know, leave the audio levels as is anyway, but I might need to adjust it per game if, if that's the case.
If anything, I could probably just ask another streamer what, what audio settings they use, and then they could just tell me or show me, you know, and I could just copy them. Since, since the, the battle music is kind of louder than than most of the other music in this game. Getting, in addition to getting an Xbox One X, or S, rather, uh, I also got a new controller, which, uh, aside, you know, besides the one that, that comes with the console, and that was also a, a very good thing to have happen, because, um, I've been needing a, a new controller, uh, for a very long while now, and, uh, this isn't an Xbox 360 controller, but, it's still a replacement controller, which I really desperately needed, so it's, that's another good thing that's come out of uh, getting an Xbox One S. I no longer have to worry about, you know, button inputs not matching, be not going through because, you know, the, on the controller I was using, the A button was, was stuck or had a tendency to get stuck, and uh, the control stick w would sometimes get stuck in one direction or another, and that was also a problem, especially with things like movement. But now I have a controller that's in pristine condition, so I no longer have to worry about that, and it's probably going to last me a few years at the very least, so I won't have to worry about problems with controllers ever again. The uh, only downside is that uh, this is a wireless controller, which isn't a problem in and of itself, it's just that now I'll have to spend more money on batteries more often. But that, that's fine. That, that's a trade-off that I'm more than willing to accept. Excuse me, for having a new controller. Flash first. 
one of them. Oh well. How many more material slots do I have left? Looks like I got still quite a bit left to go. Let's count how many more material I have now. Serious slots left to uh, occupy the remaining slots that I have left. I think what I'm I'm just gonna max out the, all of my material slots. Oh my god. Slots. Yeah, I'm just gonna max them all out because I'm sure that w whatever number I end up with will be enough uh, to max out my money. You know, when you when you take into consideration the amount of money I'm getting from every battle, like hopefully that adds up to enough that I'm able to max out my money. Feel free to ask me any questions you want while, while you're watching, since I don't really have much else to talk about. <sighs> this is going to be a, a very long and boring process to watch, so might as well keep things interesting with, with some questions, right?
first console I... I'm actually not entirely sure was the first console I ever owned because, uh... My, my dad actually uh, played video games before me, so I'm not sure, you know, what consoles he owned before I was born or anything like that. But the first video game I ever played, or at least the first video game that I can remember playing was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And, uh, y you could say that's what got me into gaming in the first place, because it was the very first game I ever played, and I liked it so much that, you know, I just wanted to play video games, you know? Like, if it wasn't that game, I'm not sure what game I would have played first that would have gotten me into gaming. In fact, it, it's very possible that, excuse me, that I did play games before Sonic 2, and that's what's actually got me into video games. But as the first game I can remember playing, it's certainly one of the ones that has left the most impact on me. I still love and enjoy playing it to this day. And I mean, why wouldn't I? Even, even without nostalgia uh, influencing my opinion of the game, it's still a great game regardless. And I'm very thankful for uh, having played it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I might play it on stream someday. We'll see. Necessary as that may seem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I suppose I should say thanks for the question, by the way. I mean, I did ask for it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, never mind. better or or was the old one better because I'm not I'm not I feel like it, it's better for me to be facing the camera but I can't exactly do that when that, that's not where the action on screen is happening you know I gotta be looking at the game in order to play it but I don't know I've seen a couple of streamers where their webcam is uh, the webcam location is different from the monitor location, so I don't know. Oh, I made a mistake. Thanks. I'm 
obviously Flash would have been faster, but I kind of did things in the incorrect order there. <laughs> I should stop checking the materia so much. I should really only check it when it levels up or becomes born. last time. <laughs> I remember the last time I did this, I was getting so many battles that, that weren't magic parts. But they seem to be popping up more frequently this time. Uh, and of course, after I select the spell, they run away. on those guys. of how, how late it is.
Nothing? Okay then. to filling up the inventory and when that happens I will sell all the master raw material well not all of them I'll leave three since that's the minimum of how much we need excuse me to actually use Did Cloud have a limit break before? What the hell happened to that? Oh, he died! Oh. <laughs> I completely forgot that that happened. Uh, oh, oh, that that's fine. Well, the magic pots have been popping up frequently anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter whether or not a character has their limit break. Oh, 
too soon. Almost done. And hopefully with the money that I'm making from all these battles, in addition to what I'm going to be making from selling these raw material, it will be enough for me to finally get the last machine. been doing this for too long and it's causing me to lose a bit of focus. <sighs> I just have to wonder though, like, like, what exactly were they thinking with this achievement? Like, I can understand things like, you know, master all materia as grindy as that is, because logically it does make sense for that to be a thing you would have to do in order to 100% the game. But when it comes to, you know, maxing out your money, considering what the money cap in this game is, they really should have thought, should we really have this as an achievement? Like, is this fun? for the player to do in order to get every achievement in the game. You know what I mean? Like... All I'm doing here is just grinding for money. You know what I mean? I'm not experiencing anything new or different, or I'm being encouraged to explore parts of the game that I otherwise would not have normally played. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again, and well beyond what I would do 
to grind for maximum level and master all material. So, <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> I mean, and the thing is, too, is that this maxing out your money is additionally unnecessary because you, you can pretty much, you know. 2 million money or gill is pretty much all you need to be good for the rest of the game. Like, even if the money cap wasn't over 99 million, it, it, it would still be too much. Like, you, you don't need as much as... <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know, it, it, it just seems like something that wasn't really well thought through. They, they just figured, you know, let us just have another, you know, maximize material, or, or you know, ma <laughs> max maximize uh, achievement, is what I meant to say. It, it, <laughs> it's one thing if the, if the achievement is grindy, but if it's also, oh, but if it's grindy and not fun to do, that's where the problem lies. God, I got so caught up in my rant that I lost focus and didn't realize that I mastered materia. Sacred Blood Lord, what's up? Glad to see you here, buddy. provide you with uh, something that's more entertaining to, to watch while you're on lunch, but uh, I'm, I'm glad you stopped by and I appreciate your company. I'm going to need to use the WIM glitch again soon, but uh, hopefully I will have uh, finished the grind. Before that happens. <clears throat> I think I've only got a couple of materia slots left, so. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised that the Master All Materia achievement has a lower percentage than the Maximize Your Money achievement. <laughs> like, <laughs> more people actually bother to grind this much for money than, than to master every materia. <laughs> right, that, that doesn't really make much sense to me when you consider that 
the grind for maximizing your money is much longer than mastering all the materia. slots that I need to excuse me one two three four only four slots left wow <laughs> I'm actually very excited to be this close to finishing excuse me. but you never know <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be enough, but you never know when, when it could still not be enough. And I'm actually really worried about that. It's still a very real possibility. Stopping by and watching. 
I appreciate your company. Thanks for stopping by and everything. I'm almost done here, so I'm not sure if you'll... If I'll still be online when you come back, but, uh, yeah. I've seen this guy. Oh, 
always nice to see that a big dog is unnecessary. exactly be missing out on anything I'm not getting it okay I'm gonna need to use the W item glitch again very soon however I shouldn't need to but I'll to use it again anyway to restore my stock, but for the purposes of farming, I shouldn't need to use the... I, I should mas finish mastering my materia before I need to use it again. to see how many we have. This is a lot. few here that aren't mastered. How did I overlook that? Oh, okay. I see what this is. Okay. I kind of lost count because of that, but, um... But yeah. 
Alright. <laughs> I kind of lost count there, but it's in the 50s, and with the amount of money that I made uh, from all those battles, it, it should be enough to maximize my money. I hope. Thanks for stopping by and keeping me company. Hope you have a good day at work. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna swap out enemy war for enemy away. Originally a PlayStation game, and me playing in original graphics mode, you know, that the graphics aren't actually going to be very pixelated, but how pixelated this game looks is really highlighted a lot more to me when playing on this monitor since, wow, like, it's much bigger than my laptop's screen, so I can really see how pixelated this game looks even more from playing on this. altogether outright rather than you know reducing the chance of receiving a battle but this is still very good worse than how it ended up being.
should probably just head to Bone Village and sell this stuff. Or right here, since it's the closest town. Oh, that's right, I can't land here. I'm only land on grass. Then, I'll sell this here. I think this is Costa del Sol. Man, I haven't been here in a long time. Wow. <laughs> All right. It doesn't really matter. I mean, my characters are so overpowered by now anyway that, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Saucer's not closed. Not sure if that's a bug or what, but uh... Alright, now that we have every achievement in the game, there's only one thing left to do. Kill Sephiroth, again. kind of tempted to use Vincent in my party since even though he's not at max level I can do the uh, the mug glitch with him so that way I could skip the the animations for the attacks that I'm gonna use excuse me on Sephiroth The way I plan on beating him is going to be extremely cheap, like, I'm basically just going to... I plan on going into the fight with Yuffie's Limit Break already, and then just 
use it on Sephiroth <laughs> and mine it for the whole fight. <laughs> uh. and, and certainly, uh, I can't forget to get a, a third ribbon on my way there. If I run into a Master Tonberry, I, I will transform him into uh, the, the last ribbon that I'll be getting. Oh, I should have. Now that I filled up my. Uh, rather free up my material slots, I should have uh, rearranged them again so everything's in order.
Sorry, I had to mute my mic there. My, my dad was on the phone, and there's no telling what he could say uh, when he's on the phone. And I don't want to risk getting banned, so yeah, I had to mute the mic for a bit. Uh, apologies for that. Okay. Let me make sure that everything is in order here. should be like do I really need anything else? Like I shouldn't be good to go. It shouldn't matter if Tifa doesn't have any magic on her. Uh, I don't know. You know I I'm just gonna go for it. Oh wait, actually would be beneficial to have an enemy away on. supposed to go, yeah, this way.
Another reason why I should, uh, probably bring Vincent with me, even though he's under-leveled, you know, compared to the rest of my party, is because, excuse me, Safer Sephiroth gains more health the more people at max level that you have in your party. Good. Hopefully that won't matter though. Wow, the, the background turned black there for a second. That was weird. Running me away. Not very useful during the final descent, apparently. <sighs> really? I also didn't get a third ribbon. But. Again, hopefully that, that shouldn't matter, and I really hope it doesn't. Yeah, this is really bad luck with the encounters here. And I have and I have enemy away on too. Wow, seriously? Run! God, what a terrible descent. Jesus.
comments very weak against Genova Synthesis, even, even at this level. Wow. to heal e even during <laughs> the uh, win animation. That's actually amazing. even if they're not in your party. So it's kind of like XP sharing Pokemon. That's good. That being said, however, it's actually not good because... Uh... Okay, never mind. this controller that uh, sometimes when I do press A it doesn't work, but other times it does. So. guys.
again, so I can just use it again. as to why it's doing that. It never did that with me. The first time I fought was the first time I beat the game, rather. Just spamming off the lung again, like I did last time. Ugh. 
doesn't really deal that much damage against him, though.
What? 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 There's two of them. Oh, what? What the hell? What's going on? box is duplicating it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Should have been dead by now, a long time.
enemies are still in the idle enemies. <laughs> But good to finally be done with that fight, though. Here we go. Fucking job, Yuffie. You ruined everything. movies, huh?
attack could kill you given how over the top the, the animation for it is. Very strange that it's actually not an attack that could kill you. I missed. <laughs> oh, 
Time to watch the ending again. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do this again.
Right, sorry I had to mute my mic again. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, Final Fantasy VII. I don't really need to play this game ever again, uh, now that I'm completely done with it. But certainly, you know, I will play it again at the very least off-stream because I do actually enjoy it that much. Um, certainly there are things that I missed and I might stream myself doing those things if you guys really want to see that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks uh, to everybody who, uh, spent time, hanged out, and watched and stuff. Um, I will be, uh, I'm not sure what game I'm gonna next play next. Uh, I do have a few ideas as to what games I have in mind for doing a Let's Play of, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to post a poll on my YouTube channel. Uh, you guys can vote on it. Um, excuse me. I'm going to post it as soon as I'm done with the stream. And uh, you guys will have until uh, the first to excuse me, vote on it. And whatever you guys vote for is the Let's Play that I start the year with. Um... um yeah, uh, other than that, I, I plan to get back into speedrunning, and I might do Blood Money again once I... <sighs> My plans for the new year are to get partnered or at least affiliate. I shouldn't have a problem getting affiliate, assuming that my growth is steady. <sighs> this has certainly been one of the longer streams that I've done. Usually I stream for only two or three hours at the most, but I think I might need to bump it up to at least five if I am to become a bigger streamer and make a living off of streaming. So I certainly plan to stream for longer going into the new year as well. So yeah, um, I'm going to post that YouTube poll. You guys vote on it and decide what game I do a Let's Play of next. And uh, yeah, that, that'll be it for today. Um, thank you everybody for watching and hanging out. I appreciate your company. And yeah, See you next time. Peace.